joined now by Don Detmar from the American Medical Informatics Association. Thank you for joining us, Don. So, Don, what are health informatics? Sure. Uh, informatics is actually the study of the science of the use of information. So health informatics, or biomedical and health informatics, relates to how do you use information in health and healthcare from the molecular level all the way down to our genes up to public health. And so uh, the American Medical Informatics Association is interested in improving global health using information and communications technology, but the focus is not on the technology. The focus is on the use of the technology. So how can technology improve access to health? Sure. Well, one of the ways it can improve access is actually through virtual uh, patients being in contact through telemedicine, for example. A patient can be in one place, the clinical team can be in another place, and if you have the uh, communications linkages, you can do quite a bit, actually. And sometimes it's a matter of finding out whether a patient needs to be transferred for care, but sometimes it's actually managing care. In fact, uh, there's a lot of diseases that you can manage now quite well uh, from a distance. Other ways it can increase access, of course, is if you, in fact, can convince the leaders of a nation that they should invest in an information infrastructure, uh, it can improve access because, obviously, care outcomes get better, and as care outcomes get better, the society's more committed to invest in that. How can informatics help in resource-poor countries? Is the technology now cheap enough? If you have patients who are malnourished, who have HIV AIDS and tuberculosis because their immune system is weak from that, you don't get good results if you don't have a way of tracking what medicines they're on at what dosages and track their outcomes. So the point is, if you're going to make an investment to try to help people's health, unless you invest it the right way and use some of these technologies, which aren't necessarily that cheap, but the point is you don't get the outcomes if you don't do that. So in this instance, information is actually care. And so there are now open uh, electronic medical record systems, and the open MRS is, is one of them that we work with a lot, uh, is now in a, a number of countries, and it's available free, but it, it still takes money to have people train and so forth. So what our organization is trying to do is create a global network that will help the numbers of people trained, doctors and nurses, to know how to use this, because it, it's, it is something you need to know a little bit how to use. And so what we're trying to do is create a network to improve the human resource side with the technology to then really make quite a bit of difference in also how you plan for care as well as how you actually deliver it. 